with Ingrid. Today I'm going to teach you how to make these paper ribbons. You know, I don't know about you, but a lot of times you trim your cardstock and you have these leftover scraps. I save a lot of them. I don't save every one, but some of them I definitely save just for reasons like this. I was making this card today and I ran out of vanilla ribbon. So I thought, hmm, I really want vanilla. Why don't I make my, my own? So I'm going to show you how to do that. What you're going to need is, you know, just something that you're going to wrap your ribbon around. These are about 3 16th wide, so just over an eighth. Um, generally on your Stampin' Trimmers, you can see the 16th measurements, and uh, you will be able to just cut yourself some of these. You're going to need at least one like this. Um, let's see, it's about five and a half inches in length. Um, and you will also need a bone folder. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to break up the fibers a little bit. You don't need a lot of pressure, just a little bit, and your ribbon will get a little curly, and that just makes this a little bit more pliable and easy to use. First I'm going to run a little bit of my snail along the bottom here, and then I'm going to position my ribbon exactly where I want it. Just bend that around there. Because I've broken up the fibers a little bit, it bends a little easier, so I definitely encourage you to do that first. You don't need to get a little too carried away with it. And then I will just snip those ends off. Don't need those. Just throw that away. Okay. So that's the base of my ribbon. And you can adjust it however you want. Um, it's pretty easy to move around. And then we're going to go ahead and make the tie. Now I have another strip of exactly the same length because I want it to look equal. I'm going to go ahead and break the fibers up. You may have to do this a couple times so you kind of get the feel for it. But the good news is it's really just scrap of paper. So you really haven't wasted a whole lot. And you'll have a matching ribbon to every single project that you have. All right just going to tie a simple knot. We're not doing a double knot. You can see I have a lot of excess. Just working with it. And I'm just going to flatten it kind of when it gets to the size that I want. Just like that. I'm going to take my paper snips and snip the ends. To attach it, it's rather simple. You're going to need some of our mini glue dots. So I'm going to take that out. You always want to keep this covering it so that they don't get stuck to your box. A little tiny tip. I'm just going to, and I don't know if you can see the glue dot right here. It's clear. So I'm just going to lay that on top of there. It's easier to pick the glue dots off, off by putting whatever it is you're working on and then picking it up that way. And I know you can't really see that, but trust me, it's there. And then we're going to go ahead and just fasten that to our project where we want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my project. And you can see that, and this is just a card that I've kind of prepared ahead of time. You see the finished project on my blog. I'm going to go ahead and just pop. These are just some little pumpkins that I stamped. And there you go. You have a finished cute little card. So I hope you enjoyed that little technique spotlight. Um, I'm sure you're going to save a lot of your scraps now. So happy stamping, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for stopping by.